Hello everybody, welcome back once again to World of Warships with Raz Grease Gaming and today we have the new, well... No, 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 this is not Yamato. Stop it! Ugh. God damn it, every time somebody wants to talk about one of these ships, you know, you think immediately it's, it's Yamato. No, it's not. This is the new premium tier 9 Musashi, the sister ship to Yamato. Nice, nice, nice try to trick me there with, you know, throwing up Yamato, but it ain't it. <laughs> For Fraz, come on, it's a sister ship, it's about the same. No, it's not. There is a couple differences to this, and we're all going to talk about this. So, what's all for off the bat? This is a premium that you're going to cost 750 free experience. I was able to get it uh, off of myself for, I had a lot of free experience sitting around, so I was able to get it for pretty darn cheap for myself. Um, mathematically, you're probably going to spend over $100 easily getting this ship if you don't have the free experience uh, shipped over. So, be nice, don't spend it if you're not going to be doing that very clearly. Alright, anyway, so we're going to do this, the difference between that and Yamato, so clearly watch yourself what I'm going to talk about because... The difference between the two is clearly going to be shown here. So first off, let's go and say, um, anyway, let's go over. So this is Yamato. We're going to change the camera real quick because I've been using this for, well, just about every god darn thing right now. That's better. So now they're matching pairs pretty much. Now, if you notice right off the bat, even with me out looking, Sasha's really high in the water as... Look, yeah, definitely. So Yamato has a health bolt 97,200, uh, 16 to 650 millimeter with torpedo production at 56%. And Musashi is... Same thing. Well, why is the ratings different? Well, because of it being high in the water, I guess that's the reason really why that survivability is different. You will kind of get hit a little easier, especially if you're broadside. And... The cheeks aren't as uh, stupid evil derp as they were before. I mean, if you look at the Yamato clearly in the water, it's very, very low to the ground almost. A little deeper down in the water than its sister ship. Um, the cheeks are a lot shorter and the uh, the difference between that to the surface to the water is quite almost noticeable. It also almost looks like a fit fat box on here. But the ship looks still very elegant, especially with that uh, nice flower petal on the front. And it's very beautiful aspect of guns. But there's a couple differences right off the bat. First things first is we'll go over to artillery. You still got the 18 inch guns. You still have, but now you got this. You have uh, six of the dual one five inchers. You have four of the triple 155s. That's it. The hell? Yeah, compared to this, Yamato, you only have two of the 155s strapped on the front and back, and then you have six of these types of one five inches, and then these are the five inches. So you got dual five inches all over the place, but different styles and sizes and heights. The hell's going on, Raz? Well, Musashi is a little different than Yamato. Musashi is designed the way she was designed a little earlier into the war, before they started slapping anti-air all over Yamato before she was sunk in that uh, that typical raid a long, 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 long time ago. Well, all right, all right. Well, what else? What about anti-air? How, how's anti-air? Oh, uh, what anti-air? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what were you talking about? anti-air I buffed the living hell of my anti-air on, on Yamato so you have 46 of the triple 25s you have six of the duels and this of uh, the five inches and six of the dual 127s those are five inch guns right off the bat if it says 127 that's five inches okay before you go and flip your birds that's what it is clearly so you got 25s and 127s compared that to Masashi you only have a uh, two of the twin <laughs> 13.2s you have 12 of those 25 mils and then six of the dual 127s 
So you don't have a lot of anti-air on this thing. Very, very, very little. It's it's exceptionally small amount. It's impressive that the ship actually has anti-air to speak of. So you're not going to be going and having yourself a ball with having anti-air defense. You're basically going to be a giant target for ships. Maneuverability, you have 27 knots compared to uh, same as Yamato. The turning circle is the same, and the rudder shift is the same. So you definitely... Oh, nope, Yamato is a lot worse. Haha, <laughs> tricked ya. So you definitely have a better turning on this. It isn't as a freaking armored tank as Yamato had been. Okay, well, what about concealment? Is that the same? Well, you tell me. I think it's pretty dang close. And it is. It's pretty damn close. So. Alright, well, well then... What is Musashi? It seems like it's not much different to Yamato, except really the secondaries and anti-air. Exactly. <laughs> the, this ship really is basically a Yamato with a little less anti-air at Tier 9. It's, it's insane how nasty this ship is. Now, however, there is a couple subtle things that we're going to point out real quick, and I'll talk about that in gameplay with this ship. But um, for Commander, we did put Admiral Yamamoto in this thing, even though it didn't really happen at all. We have Concealment Expert, Basic and Advanced Fire Training, Expert Marksman, because the guns do take a while to turn, and Preventive Maintenance. That's also something I should point out, too, while we're at it. But what about the guns? Well, here's the problem I already have. Right now, we don't have a massive fire range. I didn't put it up there because, well, tier 9, come on. Anyway, this is the kicker. 180 degree turn, 56.3. Yamato? 56.3. They are excessively slow, and that is fine with me. Because these are 18-inch guns, they should be slow. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have expert marksmen on this thing, you're going to be hurting even more. Watch out, because these guns do take an excessively long time. Especially if you're going from left to right, your front guns are going to get there on time. Your back gun, wait about, and it feels like an eternity for that sucker to turn around. I have been doing rudder derps to make it a little quicker for myself. That does cut off a few seconds, but remember, be careful. Anyway, let's go through the gameplay. Show you guys what this thing actually can do in matches. Okay, so here comes the match, guys, and um, I kind of led it up to where we can really talk about the you know the way these shells work and everything else. Now, pardon the freezing the animation it kind of was a little glitch in there but yeah this is it here now the nice thing about this ship is like i said just like it, its predecessors with the yamato it has that dirt armor on the front so no matter what it's still yamato armor so this thing will pen but if you're broadside you will get punished you know hearing all that that's a lot of bounces on the whole of this ship and I'm taking brunt force here. I was trying to retreat, and well, my guns are pretty accurate, so... Yeah, he's gonna get deleted instantaneously. And that's the great thing about this thing. Now, the, the secondaries are... somewhat there, and can help you in a pinch, but you really have to be careful what you're doing with it, because really, if you're not being smart with it, you're going to be having yourself a... A not a very good time on your hands and you're going to be punishing yourself for the sheer pain that you'll be dealing with uh, on a regular basis of this. Overall the guns are really really solid. I mean look at look at this grouping on those guns. Yeah. <laughs> 
I tried doing that in a couple other of the other battleships at tier 9. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. But, again, the weak point definitely is your anti-air. You don't, you can't, if you're singled out by the aircraft carrier at tier 9 or tier 8, you're going to be in trouble. And it's not even me, like, saying, oh, it's going to be fair. You're going to be in trouble. You're going to have to be careful. So, overall, is this thing worth a buy? If you have the money and you're trying to collect things, go for it. But, if you really want to seal club at the top tiers, and you really are good at the top tiers, eh, it's not worth the money. You can find other premiums to get your hands on, but I'll tell you what though, it is a lot of fun for me because I can just bring this ship out and basically press the 2 key and uh, basically one shot any ship in the game pretty much, just like that. <laughs> and it definitely is something that you wouldn't think that you're like, oh god, like what if I should ever do? Why, why do I want this? But it's so much fun. Well, hope you guys like this content, you know, with this, but uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. As always, uh, take care of yourselves, um, keep it cool on the high seas, um, and uh, see you next one. Take care.